Hello everybody, in this Rhino video demo, I would like to talk about the curve boolean command. Okay, let's start. The curve boolean command can be found under the curves tools toolbar and it's this icon over here. Basically, it is an awesome tool for creating complex trims and I'll liken it to be a curve trimming command on steroid. Okay. What I'm going to do now is to create a bunch of curves and to use them to illustrate the beauty of the curve boolean command. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split this curve into two halves, draw a line over here and then use the split command. To split this into two halves. The reason for doing this is so that I'm able to perform the trims properly. Okay, I want to go to add some complexity to the form by adding a circle over here. Okay. So now I want to do is to polar array this thing. Object to array center of the polar array number of items let's set it to let's say 12 okay few angle 360 degrees okay so i got this kind of a uh, complex shape over here okay and i would like to derive the outer regions of this group of stuff okay the Long way to do it is to use the trim, which I will demonstrate now. Okay, so I click on the trim and select cutting object. These are the cutting objects. Enter object to trim. So these are the regions that you do not want. So you can see that it's, it will be a very laborious work in order for you to remove all this stuff. Okay, but there is an easier way. Okay, and that is to use the curve boolean, okay, which I'm going to demonstrate now. Okay, so I can just click on the curve boolean and delete input. Okay, you can click on the delete input options, which there are three, none, use, or all. I'm going to delete all the inputs, okay. So select curves. So these are the curves that I want, okay. Enter. Then you ask you to click on the regions to keep. Okay, so if you want the outer curves, you can click on the region that is outside of, of this. Okay, you click here. You can see. I'm now able to get all the necessary curves. Okay, and let's say if I want this region as well, I can click on this. Okay. And if you want any of the smaller regions inside here, you can also click on them to select those regions. Okay, and once done, you can just press enter. Yeah, you can see. It's a very awesome tool for creating complex trims that will be otherwise very time consuming if you are using the conventional trim command. Okay. With that, I think I come to the end of this demonstration. Hope that's been useful to you. See you. Bye.